Since the dawn of time, human beings have dreamed of heaven, thirsted for heaven, even killed for heaven. Terrorists in the Arabic world are fanatics. They don't live the beauties of Islam. They live in the ego of their flesh. Is heaven an actual place or simply a glorious figment of the human imagination? It's obvious that heaven and hell do motivate people to be good on earth, and that works for every religion. I don't think I'm controversial. I'm very simple. According to the trust that the Buddha gave me, that I lead a good Buddhist life, and if I'm more committed, I lead a female monk life. A common theme across Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, Judaism, and Hinduism is that a life well lived on earth today brings an eternal reward tomorrow. But is it really that simple? Where matters of heaven are concerned, nothing is what it seems. So much bad stuff I've done. I don't know if I'm going up there or not. I have a hard time finding that person in my mind's eye who won't get there. Even people who've done terrible things and have killed multiply. They are not world spiritual leaders, nor the heads of any organized religion. They are citizens of the world who, in their wisdom, courage, and good works, embody their own heavenly truth. I'm born here on the bank of Gangaji. I know as a scientist that Ganga's water is not good these days. No, no, this must stop. This is disrespect to the river. These pieces of heaven on earth enlighten, inspire, and illuminate the true nature of heaven and have the power to bridge the wide chasm of intolerance and unite us in our humanity. We wish the relations between Arab countries and Israel were like the relations between us and the Azerbaijanis here. In that case, there would never be war. From Turkey to Thailand, from Azerbaijan to India to America, what extraordinary lives are being lived in the name of heaven?